if the old Mike Tyson shows up for five minutes, like, how do you get past that? Right. Right. That's he doesn't need to be there for the whole fight. He needs to be there for five minutes. For five seconds. Yeah. I don't know. I, I I hear your strategy and I see your strategy. I don't know that I wouldn't just run for two or three rounds and hope that he gets tired. <laughs> Maybe that's a strategy too. I don't I don't know. Yeah. Celebrities have shared their predictions for the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight. NFL star Patrick Mahomes recently offered his take, indicating that Jake has a clear route to victory in this significant match. However, Mahomes proposed that for Jake to have any hope against the seasoned boxer, he must extend the match into the later rounds. He emphasized this notion, elaborating on it. The crucial role of stamina and tactics in overcoming such a formidable adversary Mahomes admitted trepidation regarding Mike Tyson, suggesting that if Jake can prolong the fight, he may stand a chance of emerging victorious. However, he cautioned that any significant blow to Jake could spell trouble for his prospects in the middle of his training camp. Mahomes hinted that, despite his commitment, he might consider a brief debtor to Texas to witness the event in person. Tyson looms large in the pantheon of heavyweight boxing legends, his dominance a fixture in sports story history. Amidst it all, Jake, despite his moniker as the problem child, has yet to face off against top-tier competitors. Unlike his current opponent, ISO Speed, Logan Paul shared their thoughts on Mahomes' assessment of the fight. I, I was, you know, that was the best. Um, what is it? What is kind of wait? What kind of question? Neutral. It's a PR train. He's PR. No, train. not. Oh, that no, that's, <laughs> that's like the best answer he had when it comes to sports. Diplomatic. <laughs> no, not even. No, not even. I think he just means the best. An like, because your your answer is a word for word his thoughts yeah. on it. like he he's like dude J you know if, if jake drags tyson out into the water like to over yeah tyson. i think if he stays alive for two rounds he's gonna yeah do he's gonna i kind of agree with uh patrick actually yeah i agree i think i think it also just got sanctioned as a pro fight which is cool that's really cool yeah. it's in dallas right yeah it's in dallas it's but i think it's when i'm at training july, camp, unfortunately. july 20th yeah oh, come on uh, quick night quick jet you one night out jet. A quick, it, don't tell coach no one tell coach about row c you know uh, Stirring the pot even further, hip-hop artists Tony Yao and Uncle Murda threw down an eye-popping $5,000 wager on the upcoming bout. Will Yo's unwavering loyalty to his Brooklyn roots and Iron Mike clinch him the win? Or will Uncle Murda's cash end up backing the victorious contender? The imminent showdown between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson isn't merely catching the eye of boxing enthusiasts. It sparked a lively betting rivalry between two rap artists in a recent sit-down with DJ Vlad. The discussion veered towards the July 20th bout. Speaking of fights on July 20th on Netflix, Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul. DJ Vlad chose the topic. Tell me yo, ever loyal to his Brooklyn roots, wasted no time in declaring his allegiance. He said, we already have money for that. I picked Mike Tyson. He's from Brooklyn. So if he says Jake Paul, you already know he's from Hollywood. However, Uncle Murrow wasn't quite convinced by Tyson's age. I think Mike is a little too old to be fighting at this point. He interrupted DJ Vlad, then clarified the age gap for the listeners. He's 57. Jake Paul is 27. Uncle Murrow wasn't fully risking his doubts, despite his worries about seeing her chance. Yayo playfully raised the itty. This exchange of gestations persisted. Yayo countered what I'm saying. Look, Jake Paul, yeah, he got a chance, but if Tyson hits him with one of them old, they feel like it's 88 because, remember, Tyson ain't trying to lose. But Uncle Murda reiterated, I think Jake Paul, I just think there is too much of an age difference. Finally, the big reveal came when Uncle Murda admitted that I put my money on Jake Paul. It's so real that I want to lose the money. Many people are concerned about Mike's age, including Tommy Fury. Jake's opponent, Tommy Fury, didn't hold back his views on the looming showdown between Tyson and Paul, raising doubts about the fight's legitimacy due to Tyson's age and Paul's questionable history in the ring. Speaking to IFL TV, Fury expressed his disappointment, remarking, well, he couldn't beat me, so he's going to fight granddads now, which is terrible. You know, what you were isn't what you are now. He emphasized his respect for Tyson as a boxing legend and hinted at taking matters into his own hands if Tyson doesn't secure a knockout. Mike Tyson is an absolute legend and deserves the utmost respect. 
Listen, it is what it is. If Mike doesn't knock him out, I will next time. Fury's remarks demonstrate his contempt for the bout and his adherence to the fundamental principles of the game. Meanwhile, we know that Sylvester Stallone and the legendary Iron Mike found themselves enshrined together in the hallowed halls of the Boxing Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, the ties to the sport run deep within the Stallone family with the Hollywood icon's younger brother Frank Stallone having his own history in the ring recently. He joined a chorus of voices discussing the upcoming match, while some expressed concerns about the bout individuals like him maintain a staunch belief that Iron Mike will emerge victorious against his considerably younger adversary in an Instagram post. The multi-talented artist encapsulated the anticipated final of the bout, according to his message a swift two-punch sequence could potentially seal the deal he said Mike Tyson wins by Ko on two kids green and right hand crazy left hook nullifies that and bingo in the footage provided he stands amidst the vast expanse of a parking lot a stage for his revelations amidst a flurry of emails inundating his inbox about the forthcoming July bout Frank Stallone embarks on setting the scene branding Jake Paul as nothing more than a greenhorn in the realm of boxing it was only when he squared off against the season future Tommy Fury that he truly tasted the rigors of the ring. Okay, I've been getting bombarded by emails about the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight. Let me make it very clear Jake Paul is a rank amateur. The first time he fought a guy that was a bit of a boxer, he lost to Tyson Fury's brother, said Sly Stallone's brother. Delving deeper, he elaborated on the struggles faced by the problem child grappling with the hurdles that accompany late entry into boxing. Invariably, many find themselves overly reliant on their dominant right hand in the realm of boxing prowess. Mike Tyson, a seasoned maestro, wields the ability to deliver formidable punches with either hand targeting. Anywhere from the chin down to the body, his agility and strength are already well documented presenting a daunting challenge all to any opponent. Jake Paul, on the other hand, has yet to encounter a contender of Tyson's caliber. Despite Tyson's seasoned years, his mastery of the sport remains unparalleled as he navigates the ring with precision and expertise. Frank Stallone illustrated Tyson's approach in the peekaboo style, demonstrating how it would inevitably lead Jake Paul to unleash his right hand. He said he's going to come in like this. This guy's going to throw a right hand bang and he's going to catch him with the shot and that's going to be it or he's going to feel that power here on the arms cause Mike knows how to take his time and pace so you keep an eye out Frank Stallone previously disclosed that he has been a fan of Mike Tyson since the moment he took home the crown on the other hand Piers Morgan chimed in on the recent training video shared by Mike Tyson Tyson dazzled viewers with a display of his formidable strength effortlessly pulverizing training pads seeing this British journalist Piers Morgan responded I'm very glad I'm not Jake Paul the anticipation is electric saturating every conversation everywhere you turn there's talk of the imminent showdown between Tyson and Paul for Logan Paul this fight holds profound personal importance with his younger brother's future and potentially his well-being at stake it's clear that the latest episode of impulsive delved deeply into the upcoming bout joined by co-host Mike MAC and special guest Paul Michael Levick better known as Triple A to wrestling aficionados. They meticulously analyzed the event Mike M.A.C. Query Triple H about his perspective on the Jake Paul Tyson clash. Triple H admitted to lingering uncertainty regarding the fight while he had viewed sparring and training footage of the two. He couldn't ascertain whether the clips were recent or dated. <laughs> like, yeah. what you, like what happens, dude? Yeah, you know, this is one of those things where just for me, my just own personal opinion of how I feel about it. Like, I don't know, like, can he do this? I see clips of him fighting, but I don't know, you know, or or smarting or doing mitts or whatever. And I don't know when that's from. Logan Paul sought to liken Tyson to the revered Jedi Master Yoda from the Star Wars saga. He suggested that Yoda might appear unassuming and carefree, yet when it comes to combat, Yoda transforms into an unstoppable force.